Hey, welcome Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, it's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So, I might have this quizzical look on my face because just as I started um, to hit record here, I got a really strong um, German voice in my head. So I get the feeling that there is somebody um, with like out there that lives in Germany or has German ancestors. Um, so if that's you, let me know in the comments. So guys, um, welcome to your January 2020 bonus reading. And I'm doing a why am I stressed reading. And this is going to look at your core intrinsic understanding of how you feel um, and what's going on. And hope to give you some guidance to resolve this stress because living in stress is, is not a good place to be. So... I hope you enjoy the read. Let me know in the comments, guys. And if you feel like you need more um, more help and guidance from the tarot as, as you go on through your life, feel free to tap the subscribe button. So anyway, which is tarot here for your reading, guys? And the first card is going to look at what I'm missing from my life. And you can go ahead and repeat that question to yourself um, because it'll help open up your energy to me. Um, so what I'm missing from my life... Okay, I'm going to keep these two cards. There's three actually, so I'm going to keep them. Um, so I'll take them in the order that the spread is calling for. So what are you missing in your life? You've got the two of cups here. So you, you might not be able to really um, trust people right now. Um, some of you could be single. Some of you um, could be in a relationship or you could be... Um, like in a job where you don't really trust the people that you're dealing with. Excuse me for a second. I feel a bit chilly. Uh, so Two of Cups, it really looks at being able to form long-lasting relationships. And what you're missing from your life is like maybe you lost your best friend. Or, um, you know, maybe you're just going through a period in your life where it's solo. You know, um, and there is certain parts of your life that you do have to walk alone. But it can be very difficult, especially if you're the type of person who is dependent on other people. But, um, and this could be causing you stress. You know, you could have lost somebody that's close to you. Either they crossed to the other side of the veil or, um, you know, friendships end, um, careers end, something ended for you. Um, and it's causing a bit of a void and it is definitely causing you stress here. So let's see the best way for you to relax right now. This is really interesting. So I pulled the three of pentacles here. Very interesting card for you. So um, maybe just start journaling, guys. You know, uh, I, I feel like there's some, some of you out there that you just have this like sort of aching to connect with other people. But what about connecting with yourself at this point in time? you know, in, in lieu of, and maybe that's the reason why, you know, you've been given this opportunity to look inside yourself and what actually makes you tick as a person and what makes you happy. You know, there's always a reason for things to happen and it might not always be clear in the moment, but, and you may not never understand why things happen that the way that they do, but, you know, your purpose is to really take Make the best advantage of the situation that you've been dealt at that moment. So if you're feeling alone and lonely and maybe start reading or writing or studying something that you've always wanted to have a look at, this could be a really good time for a self-inspection and then um, it could change you um, at a core level and you could attract completely different people into your life. But I'm seeing this person is really journaling and the Three of Pentacles is the alchemy card, and this is creating the life that you want. So instead of maybe feeling like, oh, well, I wish I had so-and-so, or I wish I had 15 million friends on Facebook, um, look at this as an opportunity for self-development. So let's see any outside circumstances causing you stress right now. So we've got the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands, it really talks about, you know, having the support of other people. So if that's what you're missing and you're seeing other people being successful and it's causing you stress, that's something that needs to be looked at. You know, um, when you start to feel excited for this, the success of other people, that's when things will start to really come in for you. 
um, you know, when you're able to share your excitement, you don't feel jealous, or you, you don't have that why me feeling, um, things will start to shine on you because it's a really negative emotion and it can really repel the law of attraction. So if there's somebody that you're jealous of, maybe try and understand why, you know, with that journaling. And maybe it's something that doesn't even have anything to do with that person, but it's something that happened way back um, in your childhood. Somebody said the, the wrong thing to you and it's sort of like... <sighs> you know, and you've kind of had that reaction your whole life. So it's a really good time to start healing your own self. And then you can start to celebrate other people accordingly um, once you start to feel a little bit better. So let's see any part of your behavior that is making your stress work, which is always interesting. So we've got the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, she's really protective of herself and other people, but man, she's, she can be nasty when she wants to. So this could be part of you. Um, and you know how people, when they're really upset and wounded, they really push people away instead of doing the opposite. So this could be something that you're inadvertently doing is like shoving people away instead of inviting them in because of something that happened that was out of your control that hurt your feelers. And now you've built up this barricade around your heart and now you're feeling alone. And it's just this like, it's like somebody flicked a domino of pain and it just keeps on having one effect after another. You know, I'm really seeing here where the self-discovery is in order here, you guys, so that you can start to really operate at your highest level you know, because the Queen of Swords, like she's just sitting there and she's waiting for somebody to strike down, you know, and she's got her back into this empty eternity and there's nobody behind her. So you guys could really be feeling like, you know, you've, you've been forgotten. Um, you feel like there's just this empty chasm where love used to be with the Two of Cups, you know, and instead of letting other people in to help you, you're pushing them away. And this is words, really sharp words that the Queen of Swords is holding up there and she's using it to just slice and dice people that get too close and this could be you guys. Um, so let's see what your outcome is here. This is really, really cool. So we've got the Six of Pentacles. So, you're going to come to a place where you're gonna be able to start sharing again. It's like you're having this reaction of almost like hating other people for being happy right now because there's something that happened recently for you or maybe not recently, but something is coming back. There's this really deep sort of dark energy about you right now. And just know that you're going to be able to heal this um, there's, there's going to be somebody that's going to be able to see past this facade of the Queen of Swords and look right into you and say, okay, you know what, you really need help here. And, and I understand that everything that you're doing is a defense and you feel alone. And so you can really look for somebody to come in and help you even though you may not want it and you may sort of rebuff them or repel them and just get your queen of swords energy going up like oh, none shall pass you know um but you're going to have to let somebody in because you need the help right now um there's this this energy that needs to be transmuted and it's sort of a dark and sort of twisty energy and it's a result of some pain that you've been through and it's valid and but you don't want to live with it you know you don't want it unpacking your bags and sharing your bed with you this is something that needs to sort of pass through you and something that um, doesn't belong to you it, it's a visitor so treat it that way and it's going to be able to leave you um, but it's going to take you looking at it right dead in the eyes and understanding what it is and how it's affected your life and there is somebody close to you you just have to let them in here because you've got the two of cups and then you've got the six of pentacles so somebody really wants to come and speak to your heart like your inner child so let them um see you guys have a little bit of work to do and this is 
this is like I'd say on the like the high end of stress like it's such a deep emotional stress for you guys but you should be able to work it through as long as you allow people in to let to um, sort of pull you out of that dark era of your life so um, let the sun shine in you guys and really stay blessed and I'm sending you all my love and light and healing right now so do take care of yourselves and I'll see you back here another time bye for now bye